Welcome back to the Engineering Workshop. I'm Hunter White. In this episode, we're going to build these beautiful CNC mallets. Thanks for watching. I'm starting my design and digital prototype in Fusion 360. First step is obviously create a sketch. I'm designing everything parametrically by defining variables for all of my dimensional features. This will easily allow me to copy the sketch, change my dimensional reference variables, and then create different size mallets that I can quickly adjust later on. So I'm making a large, medium, and small mallet. At first I'll adjust these dimensions based on how the model looks on the screen, but eventually after I create the first physical prototype and get a hold of it, I can adjust the dimensions based on the mallet's ergonomics and make sure they're aesthetically pleasing. Jumping into the computer-aided manufacturing side of Fusion 360, I created a manufacturing model, which is essentially a duplicate reference model that allows me to make changes for CAM purposes without affecting my original design model. So to nest the components that you want to CNC together, you have to edit your manufacturing model, then select Arrange. You then select both the components, as you can see there, and then you need to select a plane that you're gonna put those on. So I selected the XY plane. It's then very important that you go in and you adjust the length and the width of that plane so that the pieces can be nested together. So when you first click this, it may seem like nothing is happening and then it doesn't, it's like the nesting's not working, but you have to make that plane a certain size, which will represent your stock piece in your CNC. I then figure out what my minimum stock size is by adjusting these dimensions and then watching it shrink down around my pieces. You can also adjust the object spacing between the pieces. So I do this to ensure that a quarter inch end mill can get between my inner mallet and my mallet handle. Now that my components are nested in the manufacturing model, I can create a new setup that references that manufacturing model to create my toolpath. My first toolpath is a boring operation to cut the holes for the alignment dowels. I'm using a quarter inch two flute upcut bit at 17,500 RPM. And I'm using that same bit and the same speed for all my operations. My next toolpath is a 2D contour toolpath to cut out the outer perimeter of my pieces. I've labeled this as a roughing pass because I'm using 5,000 stock to leave. The next toolpath is another 2D contour finishing pass, removing the remaining 5,000 at full depth. The final toolpath for this setup is a clearance path with negative stock to leave to create a press fit between my handle and inner mallet. I'm now using a new manufacturing model for my mallet sides to create a new setup, doing a boring path for the dowels as well as the contour path for outside, and I'm also doing a finishing pass. This makes it a little bit less sanding on the uh, on the back side. I'm now picking my entry positions uh, to be these two corners because I just want to make sure that I don't have any uh, collisions or anything like that with the stock. And now that all the cam is programmed, we can finally get to cutting on the CNC.
These mounts are finally finished and I think they came out amazing. They feel great in my hand and sturdy such that I'm not going to be worried to really bang on something if I really need to. Um, they also really nicely balanced and will work really well with fine woodworking hand tools in the shop. The walnut, purple heart, and red heart look really beautiful on the sides. The red heart is this on the small mallet is my wife and I's favorite. And I think we're going to end up making a medium sized mallet with the red heart sides. If you like this design and want to make your own mallets, I have build plans available on my Etsy store. These are all inclusive build plans that include details and files to make the mallets on a CNC, dimensional drawings to make the mallets by hand with traditional woodworking tools, and templates that can be glued to stock material to cut out with a bandsaw or jigsaw and sand it up to the final dimension. So these, with these build plans, you can make all three mallets three different ways. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.